The winner of the 2013 Queensland Medium Business Award is Becca Helicopter Services. Thank you. Go get a kiss. Of course, there you go. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> oh, no, you meant that. I feel so cheap. Cheated. There can only be one captain. <laughs> <laughs> I feel kind of like we're a little bit slow because we started this business 17 years ago. Our daughter is in the audience tonight and we started the day she was born, Chasey Girl. So we have one other daughter who is uh, in New Zealand at the moment. She just got accepted to the Jetstar pilot cadet program, so she's gone to the dark side. She's flying fixed wing, not helicopters like her parents. So our story is really simple. We we, uh, we started, we bought a 1961 Bell 47. It was a G2A. It had a Lycoming engine for you technocrats out there. When I did my helicopter training, I remember the, the, uh, I'd come out of doing engines and systems, and we had this really cool like ashtray at work. And I thought, God, that's, that's a really cool ashtray. And when I came out of doing aircraft technical knowledge, it was the top of a piston turned upside down. And so you don't have to be smart to run a business, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Clearly all fly helicopters, so um, as long as you know where the sticks are, you're okay. Um, I was a midwife, Mike was a helicopter pilot, and, and when Mike taught me to fly, I said, you know, babe, we really should uh, take this to the world, which is what we did. And for 14 years, we flew that helicopter, we flew 14,000 hours. We called him Oscar because it was the ugliest helicopter you've ever seen in all of Christendom. And uh, we've just done him up. And three years ago, or four years ago, we signed a $30 million contract to train military pilots from around the world. And, you know, we didn't know what $30 million looked like. We felt like we owed $30 million, though, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying, if you're true to yourself, don't lose yourself along the way. You know, we said that we don't care if we still have Oscar, that ugly helicopter, and live in a grass hut as long as... We were true to what we were and what we wanted to teach. So I'm going to leave you with something. There's something we do in the helicopter when we're on finals. And when you come into a helipad, you want to make sure you're not going to screw it up and iron yourself out and those in the back. And so we have a saying, and I think it's really uh, good for business, and that is when you're coming into land, you say airspeed over ground speed, which means you've got to have enough wind on the nose and not up your date because that's not good for helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> the other one is rate of descent under control, and that means that you're not coming in too fast because it's kind of, you know, you don't want to do that in business. You know, it's not good to do it too fast. You want to do it nice and steady. I know some of you men out there are kind of taking these tips on board. Um, <laughs> And the other one is you have power in hand, and that means that at any time, if you pull that collective up, you can actually bring that helicopter to, to a nice stop, nice and quietly. And I know for some of you guys, you're taking extra tips now. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one is there's a decision, and you make that decision on finals in that helicopter, and you've got to do that in business. And that decision is you, you, you either continue on into that helipad and you commit, or you fly away, and I think tonight, you, all you have committed, and bravo to you, and to any man that can teach his wife to fly helicopters, I thank you. It deserves a round of applause. <laughs>